Hi everyone, Tina here. Today is Monday, August 7, 2023, for those of you who like the date and the year, and also for my future time traveling viewers. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, response or statement to Leah Remini's lawsuit against Sci Scientology, Church of Scientology, Cult of Scientology. Um, I first heard about the response that they put out a response or a statement on um, growing up in Scientology, Aaron's or A. Aaron uh, Smith Levin's channel. And his rendition is pretty funny the way he reads it. I have found another statement on Scientology's website that they put out in response to Lee Remini. So I mistakenly read that off and didn't realize I was missing, like, you know, it wasn't the same statement. There you go. But anyway, I'm going to read the statement that Aaron um, got a hold of, and that was posted on their website on August 3rd, so just a couple days ago. And then I'm, I am going to read the other statement that they put up there. But they're, like he said, it's childish, it's unprofessional, and also, like, when I think about it, she got under their skin. For them to put out a response like this and the other statement, she is getting under their skin. So she's really, she is getting to them. Because otherwise, you know, they would just do whatever they do and, you know, uh, disown or whatever, shun. I, I forget the, uh, the the verbiage or what they do to someone who, what is the term? Um, ah. I can't think of it. Oops, sorry. But yeah, it's when, yeah, it's a term that they use, like kind of like stunning. But first, I want to um, thank you and say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for the um, thoughtful um, and kind comments. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Also, I'd like to say hello to the viewers from Canada, England, Australia, and of course, the United States. Uh, I really appreciate and I hope you're enjoying the content. So this is the statement from the Church of Scientology about Leah Remini's lawsuit. It's, it's like childish. And again, she's getting to them. So that could be a good thing, right? Okay, so here it goes. This lawsuit is ludicrous and the allegations pure lunacy. See, gaslighting. Here we go with gaslighting at its finest from the experts of gaslighting. Cults, even, you know, uh, not meaning to insult anybody, but churches. I was raised Roman Catholic. It's a thing. Okay, so Remini spreads hate and falsehoods for a decade and is now offended when people exercise their right to free speech, exposing her for what she is, an anti-free speech bigot. Are you serious? Are you serious? It seems like they're the ones who are against free speech. Don't ever talk about Scientology or they're going to come for you. By the way, don't come for me. I don't have anything. Remini's complaints are like an anti-Semite. Oh, seriously? Complaining about the Jewish Anti-Defamation League for exposing the anti-Semites' bigotry and propaganda. Are you, why do they do that all the time? Why do people like this do that? Like, compare it to slavery, compare it to um, the Jewish anti-Semites. you know anti -Semites. Why do they do that? Remini's obsession with, in fact, Remini, I think it, it, her dad or her mom is there's Jewish in her family line. So unbelievable. And maybe that's they're thinking that that's going to get to her. Ugh. Remini's obsession with attacking her former religion by spreading falsehoods and hate speech has generated threats of an actual violence against the church and its members as evidenced by multiple criminal convictions of individuals Poisoned by Remini's propaganda. Really? I never heard of that. I'll have to look that up, but I've never heard of it. Don't you think it would have been like in like, you know, Entertainment Tonight or 
any one of those celebrity gossip shows. I don't remember seeing that, although I haven't been really following the news. All the while, Remini has profited handsomely from her fabrications through the sale of hate books, hate podcasts, and paid for tab tabloid hate television. Boy, they're really annoying. And like I said, in my uh, one of my videos or my original video, I have some personal experiences um, with Scienti Scientology back in the 70s through family connections. Uh, yeah, there. Back then, we knew there was something wrong with this organization, and today we still feel that. And I, I had firsthand uh, knowledge and witness of what that cult is all about. All the while, Remini has profited. Oh, okay, I already said that. Now that Remini's propaganda has been exposed, Remini has spun entirely, entirely out of control by filing a frivolous lawsuit attempting to stop free speech exposing her false propaganda. Remini's decade of harassment and fabrications are all coming back to haunt her. First of all, I don't think her lawsuit is about stopping their free speech. I think her lawsuit is about harassment and stalking. If Remini can no longer get a job, she has nobody to blame but herself. Obviously, everybody in Hollywood know, now knows what we already knew, that Remini is a horrible person and toxic to so many who have the misfortune to come in contact with her. Really? She really is getting to them. While Remini was in the church, she had to restrain her antisocial traits. She said, to, she said so herself that Scientology was the only thing keeping her monster at bay. So they have this thing in Scientology where you make confessions. Like you just dump your whole everything to them and then they use it against you. you. You know that's what they do, right? Their deepest, darkest secrets and fears. And then they take at, that out and use it again. And that is a classic, classic abuse relationship, abusive relationship. Classic. The church is not intimidated by, oh, yes, they are. The church is not intimidated by Remini's latest act of blatant harassment and attempt to prevent truthful, truthful free speech. If Remini does not believe in free speech, then she should consider immigrating to Russia. That pisses me off. That whole thing pisses me off. Now, I was listening because my ADHD, I sometimes I'll like listen and then not hear or get distracted by something else. Um, me reading it out loud is like, that pisses me off. That is gaslighting. That is abusive. That is abuse. That is classic abusive behavior. Classic and gaslighting. I hope she gets a case. I hope she gets a case. I hope that she wins the case. They have got, they... These celebrities who are, are involved with the Scientology, they give them millions and millions and millions of dollars. These people target wealthy people. My cousin's fiance and then she uh, eventually husband, but now ex-husband, not long after, um, he came from an uber wealthy family, uber wealthy, and he had a trust fund. And he gave them all of his money. And he was losing his mind from this organization. So they target wealthy people. She And when she says she has given them five, over $5 million over the past 35 years, I believe her 100%, 1,000%, because I witnessed this type of coercion or greed or whatever you want to call it, uh, cult-like behavior. But I digress. I'm sorry. But anyway, so that's the that's the statement that Aaron was reading from. I'm sorry, and I and I didn't finish his live. So, but the other uh, statement they had, I mean, I got halfway through his live, and I'm like, I have to I have to say something about this because catching snippets of it, I was like, oh oh. But to read it, mm, mm. let's see, where's the other one that 
I had, I read and I was like, I don't know. I just didn't catch it, but here, let's, let's do this. But unbelievable. So here's the other statement. I don't know when this came out. It doesn't have a date on it, but it says Church of Scientology statement concerning Leah Remini. <sighs> she got to them. For them to do that, she got to them. And you know, don't don't forget this that Leah has was became didn't like um, willingly become a Scientologist. She was a child when her mother became joined Scientology, but Leah was like indoctrinated into Scientology as a child. So you so growing up in an abusive. Uh, situation environment and then trying to get out of it and then you know not knowing how to get out of it and fighting it and going back and you're torn between loving hating confusion all this stuff so when you're a child you're easily impressionable malleable you you you, you can be brainwashed easily um so and and so when something and and so she had some trauma with them because of the the tactics that they use to um indoctrinate people if i'm using the correct correct word word which i believe that i am sometimes i, I have to correct uh check myself but anyway so so i would say that i would say that that was traumatic for her so sometimes when a, a really traumatic event happens in your life, when you're very young, you kind of get stuck in that age. Um, there is some psychology behind that, that, you know, a really traumatic event can happen and then you're kind of like stuck in that age and that mindset, so, you know, so very young. So you, so you can remain gullible and easily um easily brainwashed or you know so it, it's just really sad but she like who else has given like you know tom cruise you know have millions and millions and millions john travolta uh danny masterson you know and um and he was totally protected by scientology because he you know, didn't waver from them. So he remained supportive of them. So they're going to support him. So here's the other statement. This is the one that I made a video about, but I'm not going to upload it now because I'll just go on with it here. Um, Lee Remini has become what she once declared never wanted to be known as this bitter ex-Scientologist. And when I talk about like the Church of Scientology, Church of Scientology, you know, a cult of Scientology, you know, many churches are like that. It doesn't have to, it's not solely, you know, in like the Scientology, like lots of churches are, can be like this. I was raised a Roman Catholic. I know from what I speak of. Anyway, so, and when I grew up, uh, and being raised as a Roman Catholic, um, the nuns and the priest were allowed to physically abuse you. It was the norm. Now, I probably will go into this maybe later on, but yeah, there was physical, mental, emotional, and other abuse perpetrated by the Roman Catholic Church in my area. I know in many churches across the world, but also where I came from. So just just saying, I'm not just I'm not just um, targeting Scientology. And you know what? I have nothing against you know people who practice or follow Scientology. That's everybody's. That's our right. That's our prerogative. Uh, freedom of religion. And if it's if it's cult. Well, if that's what you want to do. But when you start abusing people and they come out 
against that abuse and then you continue the abusive behavior and then you continue with the gaslighting and harassing and that's what her lawsuit is covering so I'm, I'm rambling now I'm sorry I'm going totally like off the rails but let me finish anyway so as USA Today wrote Ms. Remedy is as famous for being an ex-scientologist as she is an actress so they're like giving themselves like you know see how important we are like whatever um she needs to move on with her life instead of pathetically exploiting her former religion her former friends and other celebrities for money money they have like huge cojones and attention to appear relevant again oh oh anyway i just get to this so this video is not too long okay sadly bitterness and anger are common threads through Miss Remini's life. Well, I kind of don't blame her. I kind of don't blame her. Sounds like the real bitterness and anger is coming from you guys, but I don't blame her for being angry, her bitter. <clears throat> Ms. Remini is showing herself to be a spoiled entitled, entitled diva who still obsessively complains about such petty matters as her seating placement. When? When did she do that? limo ride five-star hotel accommodations and the paparazzi's failure to recognize her nearly a decade ago really she also inserts herself uninvited into the family matters of others rather than take responsibility for self-inflicted problems she's quick to blame others when her firing from the talk erupted into a public embarrassment for her in 2012 we tried to pick her up off the floor oh how how very sweet of you guys but she treated everyone around her in a degrading, bullying manner. Her behavior was intolerable, probably because she couldn't give you any more money. Leah Remini knows the truth she conveniently rewrites in her revisionist history. The real story is that she desperately tried to remain a Scientologist in 2013, knowing full well she was on the verge of being expelled for refusing to abide by the high level of ethics and decency Scientologists are expected to maintain. Except the leaders, they don't have to do that, do they? Because I don't see any high level of ethics and decency coming from them right now in these statements. A repeated ethical lapse and callous treatment of others led to an e e uh, <laughs> I have to go back to this review which led to a review which resulted in her being expelled. She now regurgitates the tired, tired myths the church has repeatedly debunked, circulated by the same tiny clique of expelled former staffers bitter at having lost the positions they enjoyed before their malfeasance and unethical conduct was uncovered. Ms. Remini now joined at the hip with this collection of deadbeats, admitted liars, self-admitted perjurers, wife beaters, and worse. Please. Ms. Remini also continues her obnoxious efforts to harass the leader of the Church of Scientology <laughs> and his wife, with whom Ms. Remini has been obsessed and has stalked for years. This cultivated, and they're talking about tiny little, poor little baby, David, now, now yeah, Miss Cavage, um, stalked for years. This culminated in a scandalous report filed in 2013, and I'm going to do a video about this, with the Los Angeles Police Department, that her book shows was a fraud from the outset. It was solely intended to get publicity and harass the leader of the religion and his wife, who had refused contact with Ms. Remini because of her disgraceful behavior that was both abusive and, and unethical, because they're scared um, shitless of her. Excuse my language. Um, oh. Ms. Remini also outrageously touts that the LAPD failed to do its job when it investigated her phony report and with at, within hours unambiguously declared it unfounded, causing her stunt to blow up in her face. Anyone knowingly making a false report to law enforcement is a bald-faced liar who should be held accountable for diverting police from protecting the public. I did not hear a story about Leah Remini getting arrested or charged by the LAPD for filing a false report. I didn't hear that story. Did you? 
Scientology is the only liars I see. Just saying. Scientology is the only major religion to be founded in the 20th century and emerge as a major religion in the 21st century. The church has grown more in the past decade than in its first 50 years combined under the, okay, now I'm going to have to say it. I'm going to have to say it and I have to do this. I'm sorry because I don't know why this word like escapes me. Like if I wasn't doing this video, I wouldn't have a problem saying it, but I can't say it. Ecclesiastical. Ecclesiastical. Don't ask me why. I'm getting stuck on that. Don't ask me why. So, uh, combined under the ecclesi ecclesiastical oof, leadership of Mr. Miscavige, a visionary parishioner and church staff hold in the highest regard for carrying out the legacy of the Scientology founder through the renaissance the religion is now experiencing. Mr. Miscavige, Mr. Miscavige works tirelessly for the parishioners and their benefit and to aid millions through their support and participation in global humanitarian initiatives and social betterment programs. The real story of the church inside of Scientology, what it does, its beliefs and practices is available at www.scientology.org. And I worked and I've been involved with the Red Cross on and off my whole life. And I worked formally for 10 years with them. During any kind of disasters, we've had both uh, nationally and internationally. Uh, and perhaps I missed it. I never heard that organization come in as a humanitarian organization and uh, social betterment with their social betterment programs. I've, I've never heard of of the Church of Scientology being a, a humanitarian organization. Never heard of it. Maybe I missed it. I'll look and see and see what, how they, um, how they, they um, participate in global initiatives, uh, humanitarian wide and, and uh, wise and social betterment programs. I'll, I'll have to look that one up because I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it, but I, I, I could be wrong. And um, I did want to look something up real quick. Oh, yeah. You know, like uh, with uh, certain uh, religions or whatever and the shunning happens. Well, Scientology has, remember when Tom Cruise, they found some footage or whatever and there's a word that they use, um, a word that they use if you don't participate or you stray. So um, Scientologists, um, there's a word for it. And there's a word that they use, suppressive person. What is a suppressive person in Scientology? A suppressive person is anyone who, had, who has been responsible for suppressive acts, defined by Hubbard as being the overt or covert actions or omissions knowingly and willfully undertaken to suppress, reduce, prevent, or destroy case gains and or the influence of SCN on activities and or of SCN success. Okay, whatever. Just crazy stuff. And again, I apologize if I'm offending anybody, um, you know, but this has been my experience and it's in my opinion. I, I really don't mean to mean to offend anybody. And it's usually, it's not usually the parishioners or the followers. Um, they're good people thinking that they're within this really good organization and it's it it's the leadership that is off the rails and cultish and all but you know the parishioners boots on the ground you know they're generally like really good people and they're just looking for a way to serve for a better life here on earth you know so I do apologize if I if I insulted anybody. But anyway, so that's the statements from Scientology in regards to Leah Remini's lawsuit against them. So in my opinion, she is 
totally getting under their skin and they are afraid of her. They wouldn't have put this out if they were if they were not afraid of her. Just saying. But anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry I went a little long. Wow, 25 minutes. That's a long time. So again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you made it through the whole video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And just click on the little guys down here. They'll really like it if you do. I will leave a link to um, Growing Up in Scientology, that live um, YouTube show that he did regarding that one statement. And um, that's it. And remember, don't ever be afraid to be you. Bye for now. Talk to you later.